Jade, well, the Okeechobee County Sheriff's Office and Florida Department of Law Enforcement are working together to figure out what led to human remains being found here near the Okeechobee County Agro Civic Center. Now, FDLE says it'll be at least a couple of days before they can make positive identification on those human remains, but we do know they were found near the area where missing Lyft driver Gary Levin was last spotted. I just don't think that anybody for anything deserves to be just thrown away like trash. Nobody, you know, so whomever's responsible for this, we will do our utmost best and, 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 and tirelessly work to bring those to justice. The Okeechobee County Sheriff says an investigator with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement found the human remains at about 10 a.m. Saturday on Northeast 40th Avenue, just north of State Route 70. The sheriff says the human remains were that of a decomposed white man. I asked the sheriff if the body is Gary Levin, the Lyft driver who went missing near this area on Monday. I cannot say that it is or is, isn't. Um, we are, you know, just actively working to see, you know, who this is and, and the cause of death. Neither the sheriff nor FDLE shared what led the state investigator to this part of Okeechobee on Monday morning, and FDLE says the agency is waiting on autopsy results to make a positive identification. On Saturday, the family of Gary Levin told me the family is asking for privacy at this time. As for the sheriff's office... We're still, you know, working the area. We're still talking to some of the neighbors that we're not at home. We're going to go, you know, east and west, north and south of this location and find, you know, ring cameras or business cameras and try to identify any vehicles of suspicion. We're working and teaming together to try to bring um, this case to fruition and, and those responsible to justice. Now, neighbors tell us that they are concerned as this is normally a very quiet area. As for the sheriff's office, they're urging anybody with information about this grim discovery to come forward. Reporting live in Okeechobee County, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.